8 inch air impactor used with a 2720. This is a mandatory piece, slides into the back of the air impactor allowing the striker to slide back and forth. You will slot, uh, fuse that adapter piece onto the pipe you're pulling in. In this case, we're doing a 460 foot pull, pulling in 8 inch sanitary sewer, three, sewer, three laterals on it. So currently they've run their drill stem through the new pipe. We're about to attach our hose that's going to be hooked up to the impactor to the drill stem and pulled back through the sewer pipe. Yeah, when he pulls back, then he won't, he's not going to rotate that, right? No, he's just going to pull Okay, pull, so, okay. Well, I'm just I'm thinking because when he pulls it back, you know, the where you have it wrapped around the drill stem, it's still it's gonna be dragging on the joints. Yeah. Just so it doesn't. Hello. Hey, man, how are you doing? Oh man, out here on a pipe bursting job out here on the Texas Louisiana border right now. Where are y'all at? Some of them moved to Lumberton. Some of the Easons. Pulled all the drill stem through with the air hose, air supply hose attached. Getting ready to drag the pipe around so we can burst tomorrow morning. Now that the air supply hose is in the new pipe that will be installed, they've wrapped a strap around the pipe and about to drag it down the pipeline easement to have the pipe prepared to be pulled in tomorrow. Four hundred CFM PS or uh, four hundred CFM two hundred PSI air compressor. Need a total of 300 CFM, 200 PSI to run the tool. So it gives us a little extra CFM as the day heats up. Four hundred CFM by two hundred PSI air compressor. Be tying into the connection there, going to our oiler, and then from the oiler, we'll be running hose through our new pipe to the impactor. Adapter pieces go between each air hose connection running through the new sewer pipe being installed.
So what it, uh, I did all that when installing the adapter piece into the hammer, it's important to make sure that the back O-ring is all the way inside the burst head or the uh, adapter head. No more. Perfect. Right there. Good. When installing the bolts that hold the pipe in place, make sure you put a copper coat on the taper. Keep the bolts from seizing up. Yeah, that's more than more than enough. That's good. All right. Thanks. Hey. Uh, hang on one second. The holes back at the back of the mill piece line up with the holes yeah, that the okay, holes of the um, starter rod are supposed to line up with. Yeah, those allow are, the set screws those. to go. Yeah, those now we're ready to hook up to our drill stem, put a little bit of copper coat on our threads down at the end of the transition sub. We got our pilot on. Hammer, pipe attached. About ready to start pipe bursting. Pull back our rod to allow us enough room in the pit to hook up the tooling, cleaning out the threads so we have a good connection. You're gonna to want to go out a little bit and then down, yeah. yeah. Try to get it so that it centers into that, goes into that plastic. Come over that way. Yep, yep. Yeah, it looks, yeah, no, that, a little farther.
Okay, good. Now we keep going. Set, set down. Okay, we're good there. Right there, it's good. It, it basically before with the six inch before it even takes and gets to the the blades yeah, there it'll it'll start much. it'll just start destroying it yeah. Just take that pipe wrench, just put it on the, the oil cap and just make sure it's you don't have to crank it down tight, but just make it sure it's a little bit stronger than the finger. Well, you don't have to worry about it.